Yeah, what up, what up? It's your boy Moff the God, AK God's Wrath here with another game that's free to play in the PlayStation Store. It was an open beta, but yeah, it's ended, but you can still play the game and uh I'm guessing find matches because we found a few matches. The player that I'm playing with right now, I'm guessing is somewhat of a hybrid player because he has decent DPS. He has ability where he can throw out a cloud of smoke. Uh it only goes one direction, but all they know it's like some type of erosive clouds like green uh, whatever and then he has another ability which makes me think that it's, he's somewhat of a support player because he can throw out like some little area thing that's like a, a patch of grass and when you stand in it you get a slight heal but that's what makes me think that he's more of a support player but if you see right there he threw out the green cloud of uh, some type of smoke that but it damages the enemy and uh, yeah since this was my first playthrough I chose this character kind of randomly you know just to see how, how, how it will work out and uh, all in all I think compared to compared to this this first character and the second half of this video I'm um, thinking I did a lot better with this guy you know but uh, yeah maybe because he's a hybrid type uh, uh, character or whatever you know people might have different names from but yeah I'm, I'm just gonna name a hybrid player because he has decent decent DPS. He has uh, two different ways of DPS in you, and that's uh, his basic, uh, as you can see, shooting. And then another one, he throws the cloud that damages you over time, I guess, or whatever, or maybe immediately. And then he has his his heal, and that's basically it heals him. And I think from what from what I've seen so far, it seems as if he can heal his team. But uh, I utilize him when, when we're rushing the towers, you know, I, the patch of the grass, you throw it down and it's pretty much, you know, to help my team out to stay alive. But I survived longer with this, with this character, well, a lot longer. I noticed I was able to run around DPS, get out, drop my heal, and, you know, and then finally die. But, you know, all in all, I think with this character, I did a lot better. The second character that I chose after this gameplay is up. Well, in the second half, uh, more DPS, but I died a lot of times. I think I killed like 27 players, but I died 33 times. So, yeah, KD-wise, I probably sucked. But, you know, as for only playing it twice, yeah, I did all right. But, uh, yeah, anyways, my name is Morph the God. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, drop a like, maybe a comment. Like I said, whether negative or positive, doesn't matter as long as you're visiting the channel. It's views, controversy sells sometimes. Uh, to those who support me, you know, the love is real. I will support you back. And uh, so I, I'm going to continue to commentate on this video. But for the first part, I'm just going to end it there and let it play out and then when we get to the second part i'll give my take on that character and yeah
yeah i'm back uh anyways this is the character i was telling you about yeah he does pretty good damage with his swords uh yeah he's all dps like you know burly brute broody like yeah he, he's all dps but the swords are good but the thing i like about him is he has an attack where it's like area effect like basically you can flip in the middle of a crowd and then i think you push l2 and he jumps up in air and when he comes down and slams it creates an area effect that damages like uh, enemies like within close proximity of the circle what it'll show you the circumference of it and basically anything inside there I, it, it looks like if it pulls it to the middle and then he damage them and then they spread out it like the damage disperses but anyways yeah that's one of his attacks and then the sword is the, the, his other attacks for dps and then he has one i think you push the r r2 and he 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 creates like a little circle and then he swings his sword and i think those are like uh, like a major attack but yeah this is a dps player all in all uh he's good you know but he dies a little bit too easy that's the only thing i don't like and uh the only thing that's beneficial about him like as far as like it's his dps uh he does a lot of damage and he's somewhat good at evading but like i said uh it only works so much but yeah the object of the game i guess is to not only to kill your enemies but to destroy these towers and then after you destroy the towers you get to a certain point and it's like i guess the part where they respawn at and you are close to the spot that they respawn at and then you destroy that and then the game's over but uh see those bombs that that if you cross them i'm letting you know that you will not be able to evade them it has a timer on it but i ran all the way down to one and it still blew up right next to me like it you can't get away from the bomb so if you see those avoid them also there's uh different little perks that you can get in this game and you'll see them as i go through the game it'll be like little yellow like squares and then it might be a red star and then like things like that uh they all have different perks if you walk through them one of them will give you armor so that'll help you you know be able to dps why uh, uh sustain the survivability another one you'll see well always you see the uh the cross and that basically gonna give your health back but you'll see those far in between uh you'll see some of these yellows they'll give you energy and then yeah and so on and so forth and then by each tower if you stand in your tower it seems like you get healed but there's also like these little pillars that you'll see i'll destroy or I'll stand by and it, it'll be like the uh, like some type of green like aura uh, resonating out of the thing that attaches to your body. That's where you go to heal. So you want to destroy those because it keeps the enemies from healing. And as you can see, DPS the tower as much as you can. That with this area uh, attack and uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. You know, I mean, the, as all in all, like I'm I'm gonna rate the game uh, six or seven. Uh, yeah I'll, I'll rate it a seven because it is a good game like i think competitive competitively wise like you can really get into it especially if you're into these type of games you're a competitive gamer uh these games actually have tourneys so yeah if you look further into it you can probably get into like some type of league but yeah i'll continue to play the game i, I like it you know and uh but my whole thing is not to sell the game it's basically to let you know that there's a game in the playstation store that you might have overlooked like i continue to say you might have overlooked maybe never thought about picking up but watching my gameplay and maybe going to watch other people play this game you might uh want to play it competitively or you might just want to play it casually or you might not never download it but it's free uh you don't have to pay for it and uh yeah and that's pretty much it and that's my only reason for showcasing these games uh but yeah if you like my content and you're not subscribed subscribe drop a like a comment uh let me know what you think in the comments about this game if possible i know sometimes it's a little hard to do but yeah a like is like yeah it, it it's beneficial to me and uh and it just shows appreciation but you know uh yeah drop that like you know 
I know a lot of people pass by the channel sometimes. The first thing I do when I go on the channel is just push the like off the bat since I'm visiting it. But yeah, some people think different, but yeah. Uh, yeah, drop that like, you know, and uh, I'll continue to make content and I'll continue to, you know, try to better my channel, you know. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. My name is Marfa Guy, aka God's Wrath, and I will see you late. Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs>